What's up everyone? This is Incredible Bulk. Look what I got. This came in yesterday, so I'm going to be opening it up and let's take a look see. So here it is out of the box. Uh says Mattel Creations. You got your uh WWE logo, WWF, whatever you want to call it. The back, you have a picture of a diesel doink. You have your little uh, licensed uh, WWE sticker right there. It says WrestleMania down there. 5K backers unlocked. 7K backers unlocked. And what else do we over here on top? It says adult collector warning. This toy produces flashes that may trigger epilepsy and sensitize individuals. Requires four AA batteries, not included. Damn. Okay, well, no biggie. Let me uh let me open this pig up. So it says right here ultimate new generation arena. It just opens right up like so. There we go. We got the goods inside. It's pretty sweet. This um, package came in late. I was kind of getting antsy about it. I was like, where the hell is my package? FedEx was taking forever. Uh, so we got some ring steps right here. Um, it said I was supposed to get this a couple days ago. And I kept checking the tracking and it showed out for delivery. And... I was like, okay, it's going to get here today. It said in between the hours of 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. It never came. Uh, checked the tracking again on it, and it said um, unavailable, like no uh, information was available. So I was like, what the hell? Well, anyway, it did come yesterday, so thank God, you know, uh, these were made to order. So, you know, there's a lot of theft going on everywhere nowadays. Um, not just with uh, people taking your packages, but inside jobs too. Uh, but there is... There is the entrance. You got a nice curtain there. Let's see the material on this. Feels pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for now. And there's a good size to it. I I, uh, I like the size to that uh, entrance. Um, okay, so here we got the figures in here. We got Doink in Diesel. Nice touch right here. You got um, the crowd. You want to put that around your uh, arena. And what do we got in here? Got some more stuff in here. Okay. Accessories. So we'll. See what's in there in a little bit. Let's take a look at these figures. I'm uh, pretty excited about this doink. Yeah, I like that. That head sculpt that he has on right there. That's pretty badass. I mean, they're all cool, but I like that uh, mean, mean look on the Doink, if you remember when he first uh, came in the WWF, WWE, 
He was uh, that mean-faced doink character played by uh, Matt Bourne, Big Josh, whatever you want to call him. But there it is, Ultimate Edition doink. And we are supposed to get a uh, Macho Man Randy Savage with the, uh, the table and chairs ring announcer set. So that should be coming, uh, I don't know when exactly, but hopefully soon. And then we got Diesel right here. We got Big Daddy Cool, Kevin Nash, Diesel. There's a side portrait right there. Back. Um, let's take a look at the side of Doink right there. There's another picture in the back. There he is right there, laughing pose. And it's cool, I like that uh, that mallet right there that uh, he came with, that's pretty uh, sweet. So, okay, there's those two figures out of the way. And what else do we got in here? Okay, so I'm probably not going to assemble this um, while I'm recording, um, there's been plenty of videos out there uh, showing the assembly of it. I'll probably just assemble it and then show you guys once it's assembled. And I'll, I'll throw some uh, figures in there. Um, so we got some more accessories right here. Okay, we got all the, the ring stuff in here. Looks like the posts, your turnbuckle. Uh, the uh, okay, these go on the bottom of the ring. Okay, so we got those accessories, and then we have these other accessories right here. Um, okay, these are the uh, what are these? I'm not sure what they are, I'll have to take them out. Um, and then I believe these are, what are these? I think these go on the bottom of the ring also. Okay, so um, let me get this thing together and... Okay, so here is my new generation ring from Mattel Creations. I like the way it came out. Um, they did a really fantastic job on this. I'm really impressed uh, by the way it looks, the scaling of it. Uh, putting it together was not hard at all. It was pretty uh, simple. Uh, instructions were uh, easy to read. I, uh, I really like this ring. They did a really great job on this. The I went with the uh, ring skirts of In Your House. It does come with uh, WrestleMania and it comes with uh, another um, the 90s type skirt around that time. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, here is the entrance. Let me, uh, there's a little button on the back that you press. Um, first, let me turn it on here. There's a little switch back there. So there you go, the, the light's on. And then there's a little button back here that you press. And it, it does different stuff. There you go, it has the lights going all uh, different ways. Press it again. So this is a really nice set by Mattel Creations. I really like it. I'm glad that I got this um, wrestling ring. It's, it's badass. I, I uh, dig it. It's a really eye-catching. Um, you can do a lot of posing with your figures. We got Shawn Michaels in there right now. Uh, it did come with a Doink, Doink the Clown and Diesel. I'll uh, show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, here's 
closer look at the uh, in your house ring skirt looks the material on this is really good I, I do like it um, you got your ring steps here the apron itself um, is very nice I'm just worried about uh, it getting dirty um, I don't know I'm gonna have this on display so I hope it doesn't get all kinds of uh, dust on it uh, but it looks really good I mean this is a sweet looking uh, wrestling uh, arena ring and it did come with uh, the uh, I showed earlier um, like a background of like fans and stuff that you could put on there um, but there's Shawn Michaels heartbreak kid you got your turnbuckles you got the red white and blue ring ropes it looks really good I, I mean I, I really really like it um, but that's it for the ring and for the uh, entrance a uh, little station there let me uh, pull the uh, the other two figures that came with this set so give me uh, give me a minute okay so this is the other uh, ring skirt that I was talking about um, WWE, WWF, World Wrestling Entertainment. Very nice. You get four, of course, um, to go around the ring. Very nice quality. And then the other one was the uh, WrestleMania. Here's your WrestleMania. Looks sweet. really nice so that is it for the uh, ring skirts and let's get to the figures so we got two of them here we got a uh, diesel doink let's open a uh, diesel first pretty easy no tape just came like that already just pop it open says Big Daddy Cool on the top. On the bottom says Diesel Power. That's about it for the box. Diesel. Got his jacket. that wrestling ring and these figures that it came with were a nice touch to um, throw throw in with the uh, wrestling ring and then like I said that macho man that we're still gonna get I don't know if anybody has it yet uh, but it looks neat it comes with the announce table and chairs and um, nice little set going on so here's the ultimate edition diesel you already know uh, Double jointed elbows, waist turn, swivel there. See his uh, tattoo right there. Very nice figure. Double jointed knees. So there is Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And he looks. He looks awesome. I like this figure. And then he came with his jacket. Put that on in a little bit. You have the screaming face. And then you have two closed fists. So yeah, so that's Diesel. He looks uh, pretty awesome. I like him. He's going to look nice next to that uh, Shawn Michaels. So let's uh, check out Doink. There's Doink right there. And when I seen this Doink, I was kind of like, you know what? That Doink looks badass. I, I want that Doink. That 
the ring itself, when I seen it, I was like, you know what, I want that ring. But then when they started throwing in the figures, and I started seeing, it's kind of taking me back, you know, to uh, that time um, when I was watching wrestling around that time, the, the uh, new generation. So it kind of brings back a lot of memories um, when I was a teenager and stuff. Yeah, that was a long time ago, huh? But I've always been a big wrestling fan. Um, shoot, got some, uh, hold on, let me get my knife. Okay, I got him out. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've always been a big wrestling fan uh, growing up. Um, got into watching uh, Saturday WWF Superstars. And from there, I just kind of became a fan of wrestling. And my little brother, actually my middle brother too, they all, they all like wrestling also. But uh, I remember my little brother one time, my mom was picking me up from middle school. And my little brother um, showed up. He was in the back seat and he came with uh, my mom to pick me up and he had the um, the Hasbro wrestling figures the uh, damn why is it this hammer coming up I don't want to break it home I remember he showed up um, with those figures and I was like Wow, where did you get those uh, those figures? Um, because I had never seen them. And back then, it wasn't like, you know, you knew what was coming out, like on the internet and stuff. It was just, you go to the store and get surprised. And I remember him, he was in the back seat. He couldn't wait to show me the, uh, the figures he got. I remember it was the uh, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man uh, Hasbro, um, the first ones that came out. Um, the little, I think they were like five inch, uh, but I remember seeing those and before that there hadn't been any wrestling figures like in a while. I think, um, uh, before that it was the, uh, LJNs and I didn't get into the LJNs. I was still, um, too young at that time. I didn't really know about wrestling around that time. Um, but yeah, we've always, uh, collected uh, wrestling figures like since since then check out this doink look at that mug wow that's freaking awesome he looks he looks just like the uh the doink from that time wow man he looks badass you got the little flower that he used to squirt um the other wrestlers with i think when he uh first was came into the wwe i think he started feuding with I want to say, I think it was Bam Bam Bigelow and then Crush. I think he was um, playing pranks on uh, Bam Bam Bigelow and tripping him and squirting him with water, if I remember, on uh, WWE Superstars. Uh, but there's Doink. Check that out. Nice coat. Very nice. Yeah, Mattel... Um, I like their Ultimate Edition figures. They are my favorite wrestling figure line to collect right now. I like the Elites too, but uh, Ultimate Edition are uh, number one in my uh, opinion. So there you got another uh, Laughing Face by uh, Doink. I don't know if this would all be the same character because I know they had, I want to say three different Doinks. And I know they had two different doinks at one time if you remember when he fought crush uh, another doink showed up and i believe oh just to show you the hair does come off so if you want to swap the uh there's a hole back there you want to swap the uh the hair you can um wrestlemania there was two doinks and one was i believe 
uh, what was his name? Uh, Big Josh. Um, he was Big Josh in WCW. Uh, Matt Bourne. His name was Matt Bourne. Um, here's the uh, other hands that he comes with. And then you have some of his open hands. So it was uh, Matt Bourne. And then the other one was... I want to say it was Skinner. Skinner and then... Um, who was the third one? I want to say it was Brooklyn Brawler. So there was like three different doinks. There was two doinks at the same time. Uh, so there's his mallet. Looks pretty, uh, pretty neat. Let's uh, see how he looks with the mallet. If you remember when Doink came in, his character was kind of dark. And I thought that character had a lot of potential. Um, I think they could have did a lot more with him, but I think what happened was Matt Bourne got in trouble with... Um, like substance abuse and stuff, so it kind of killed the character a little bit, I think. But there is Doink with the mallet, and he looks really neat. Check that out. We got Doink and Diesel. So there's the review for the two figures that it came with in the set. Hopefully we get that Macho Man soon. Um, let's put these in the arena and see how they, uh, or the ring, I should say, and see how they look. Here we go. We got uh, Diesel Shawn Michaels inside the ring. You got Evil Doink getting ready to hammer somebody. There he is on the, uh, the steps. Love it. Great job by uh, Mattel. Glad I bought this. It's a beautiful ring, beautiful figures. Just an awesome job all the way around. Um, that's gonna do it though for the review. If uh, you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, hit a like, subscribe. And if you see this and you can pick it up, I recommend you uh, go ahead and get it. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video. You guys take care. Later.